Japanese food is one of the most popular national cuisines worldwide, and ramen has become one of its grand signifiers, with gourmets the world over falling into obsession over these yellow wheat noodles in umami-rich broth and countless different toppings. One of Japan's first industrialized foods, ramen became first a staple dish accessible to everyone with the advent of instant noodles, and then as a speciality honed to perfection by ramen chefs and a uniquely and proudly Japanese food. Not bad for a dish that actually has its origins in China. While sushi had been introduced in the West in the 1970s as a health-conscious diet food, ramen took longer to appear in the wider international context as a quintessential Japanese dish and one movie did more than any other Japanese cultural product to bring attention to it. Juzo Atami's 1985 noodle western Tampopo. A wild, sprawling and often extremely funny film, Tampopo swirls around a central story that is somewhat like Seven Samurai if the samurai were called upon to save a ramen shop from serving up mediocre noodles. Upon Tampopo's release beyond Japanese shores, foreign viewers didn't quite know how to discuss nor had context for its noodle fixation. Roger Ebert fretted in his positive review that American audiences would know little and care less about the search for the perfect Japanese noodle. But Ebert was also correct in his summation that many audience members would be carried away by the film's weird logic and glorious detailed attention paid to food as an almost divine experience. Ramen's ascent in the wake of Tampopo fever was slow but assured. Now the dish ranks as one of the most recognisable dishes of Japanese cuisine and countless foodies devote themselves to the intricacies of broth, noodles and accompaniments and track down regional variations, just like the characters in Tampopo. One of the first traditional ramen shops to open in New York City was even named Rai Rai Ken after the original name of Tampopo's ramen stand. Ramen is now a global food, and we can see this in Ramen Shop, which is screening alongside the restored Tampopo at this year's Japanese Film Festival. A Japanese Singaporean French co production, director Eric Ku's film follows a Japanese chef as he returns to Singapore on the search for family ties and new culinary inspiration. Using food as a means to explore culture, history and personal relationships, Ramen Shop is one of the many foodie films that is directly indebted to Tampopo. The West undoubtedly would not have a Ramen Shop around every corner were it not for Tampopo. And for that we should all be taking the delicate time to slurp our noodles while looking affectionately at the pork in thanks. Uh, Thank <laughs> you.